The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email at melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The plans presented this evening are the result of significant coordination with the City of Orlando and the community. The Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, District 5, conducted a corridor planning study on Robinson Street to objectively evaluate possible improvements to enhance multimodal safety, operations, and connectivity. The planning study was completed in 2017. The recommended alternatives from the planning study were further analyzed during the concept development phase, looking at engineering feasibility and costs. This phase was completed in 2019. We are now in the design phase of the improvements. Let's look at the specifics of each project. The first project, 441143-2, is on Robinson Street from Huey Avenue to Mills Avenue in Orlando. The purpose of the project is to transform the corridor to create a safer and more efficient roadway for drivers, bicyclists, and pedestrians. This includes improving connectivity for cyclists and providing improved sidewalks and paths for pedestrians with new mid-block crossings. The project will also promote lower driving speeds through the corridor and create a neighborhood feel. Overall, the project is proposing to reconfigure the roadway to provide one travel lane in each direction. Enhanced bicycle facilities will be provided including a cycle track or shared use path, where applicable, along the south side of the roadway. Other pedestrian safety improvements include upgraded crosswalks and raised mid-block crosswalks. Between Garland Avenue and Rosalind Avenue, the corridor would have one travel lane in each direction, separated by a center two-way left turn lane. A dedicated cycle track will be provided, separated from the travel lanes with a concrete barrier. The existing sidewalks and curb and gutter will be reused in this area, and the existing roadway will be repaved. Between Rosalind Avenue and Summerlin Avenue, the corridor would have one travel lane in each direction, separated by a raised median. A shared-use urban path will be provided along the south side. The existing sidewalk will be retained on the north side, and the existing roadway will be repaved. Between Higher Avenue and Mills Avenue, the corridor would have one travel lane in each direction, separated by a raised median. The existing sidewalks and curb and gutter will be retained on both sides of the roadway, and the existing roadway will be repaved as part of the improvements. A key part of the improvements in this project are improved pedestrian crossings. This is an artist rendering of one of the proposed concepts, which would include rectangular rapid flash beacons, known as RRFBs. RRFBs are pedestrian-activated warning signals. Landscaping will also be added to assist in reducing traffic speeds and improve safety at pedestrian crossings. The exact look of each crossing has not yet been determined. RRFBs are flashing lights that are pedestrian-activated and give more visibility at marked crosswalks to alert drivers to pedestrians. The two rapid flashing yellow lights are mounted below a yellow pedestrian crossing sign. They remain dark until activated by a pedestrian wishing to cross. The RRFB is a tool to help drivers recognize a crosswalk and see that a pedestrian wants to cross. Under Florida law, drivers are required to stop at any pedestrian crossing when pedestrians are visible. Once the lights of the RRFB are activated, 
drivers must stop and wait to proceed until the pedestrian is no longer in the travel lane. For more information on Rectangular Rapid Flashing Beacons, or RRFBs, log on to www.alerttodayflorida.com. We are currently in the design phase of the schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed by early 2023. Additional right-of-way is not anticipated for the improvements. Construction is currently funded and expected to start in fall of 2024. Moving on to the second project, 447106-2, is also on Robinson Street and runs from Mills Avenue to McGuire Boulevard. The project proposes changes to the roadway configuration to encourage slower speeds and improve accommodations for pedestrians. This project will repave the roadway for the entire length of the project. On-street parking will be better defined in some areas by adding curb extensions. Pedestrian safety will be enhanced with improved crosswalks. From Mills Avenue to west of Bumby Avenue, the corridor would have one travel lane in each direction, separated by a raised median with new inside curb and gutters. The existing sidewalk and curb and gutter on both sides of the roadway will be retained and the existing roadway will be repaved. Between Bumby Avenue and Festival Drive, the corridor would have one travel lane in each direction, separated by a raised median with openings for turn lanes. The existing sidewalk and curb and gutter on both sides of the roadway will be retained. The existing roadway will be repaved and concrete islands will be provided to encourage slower speeds and enhance safety. Improved pedestrian crossings are also a key improvement of this project. One type of crossing being proposed is a pedestrian hybrid beacon, or PHB. This is an overhead traffic signal designed to help pedestrians cross by requiring motorists to stop during a red light phase. However, unlike a regular traffic signal, the signal is dark until activated by a pedestrian. We are currently in the design phase of the schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed by early 2023. Additional right-of-way is not anticipated for the improvements. Construction is currently funded and expected to start in fall 2024. Ahead of the resurfacing project on Robinson Street, Orlando Utilities Commission will install about one mile of underground duct bank, a protected pathway for buried electrical conduit, along the section of Robinson Street from Fern Creek Avenue to Crystal Lake Drive, McGuire Boulevard. The duct bank will support a future underground transmission line to support Orlando's continued growth and maintain reliability throughout OUC's service territory. OUC's transmission project will be completed ahead of the roadway resurfacing project. OUC's duct bank will serve as the infrastructure for underground 230 kilovolt transmission lines and will be installed beneath the roadway. This is the second of two public meetings. The project team refined the design after the first public meeting based on comments and community feedback. Additional outreach took place earlier this month with a pop-up booth at the Lake Eola Farmers Market. Design is anticipated to finish in fall 2023. We encourage your input and feedback about these two projects. There are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comment and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by Tuesday, March 14, 2023, 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. Those attending in person are invited to ask questions and share feedback with the project team during the open house. To submit a comment for the project's public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at joseph.fontanelli at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5234 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, please visit cflroads.com. Type either project number 4411432 or 447106-2 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. 
Public meeting materials are posted on the websites now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on these projects. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Tuesday, March 14, 2023. Contact information, recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project websites at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 441143-2 and cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447106-2. Thank you for your interest and participation. Have a good evening.